why is it, uh, or break it down to me, why do I see the word scam? Because you can get more views if you put scam next to my name. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So I got a question because whenever I looked you up on um, YouTube or anything, and um, especially YouTube, why is it, uh, or break it down to me, why do I see the word scam? Because you can get more views if you put scam next to my name. That's it. Yeah, no, but because, you know, in order for somebody to say scam or that somebody's a scam artist or whatever, it has to be something that transpired that a person might get offended as much as mm -hmm. it's not truly scam, but something that rubbed somebody wrong or somebody felt like you deceived them. You might have said something and, you know, whatever scenario. I just want to know what transpired, you know, briefly on that, that why. I want to hear your side. Sure. So to well, say. I'll tell you what, since the if we launched our fund June 1st of 2018. Mm -hmm. After that first week, I think we raised like six million in 24 hours, 48 hours. Wow, that's big. And Huge. several million the first week. And after that second week, I've been called scam since. Because you raised it that quickly? Um, no other company does that? No, uh, Nobody else does that? No one in the black community has ever in history, other than Marcus Garvey. Hmm. He raised 800,000 back in 1921, equivalent to 10.5 million today. Right. And so ever since then, you can go back to go to you go to YouTube, go to Jan, go to do go to June twenty eighteen before we ever even bought a property, before we even hire staff, before we could do anything. They said from the beginning, he's gonna run with your money. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a scam, and people ran with it because it, it was hot. We were like we were viral. So it's like mm. if I'm a antagonist, if, if my social media brand, my YouTube brand is to antagonize or to be low frequency. If somebody's over here doing high frequency black power kumbaya, having his wife getting married, you represent all his excellence, y'all stupid for doing that. Y'all gonna invest in his company, all you gonna do is da 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 da. So then they did that so much in six months, six months into the company, the SEC, Security Exchange Commission, that's United, why they investigated United States government came and investigated us. That's why. The Federal Bureau of Investigation came and investigated us, which is part of the Department of Justice. They literally knocked mm. on our home door. Looked at all our tax returns, because of all, all of our bank statements, all of everything. After 18 months, mind you, I'm a three-time felon mm -hmm. going through this, and I'm an activist. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, oh, they're going to just they gonna just hang me. Run your, I didn't right. do nothing, but right. come on, it's a miracle. Right. And everybody going to say, see, we told you all so. Mm -hmm. Went through all the investigations, no findings. Not a slap on the wrist, not a probation, not a nothing. You know what they said after that? What? He's still scamming. Hmm. Wow. Because it's in a day and age of social media and the way how all these records are more than likely public, you would think that somebody would come out and say, here's the paperwork. You know, cause everything goes on social media now. Here's the paperwork. Here's the proof. Here's this. And y'all still listening to him. This is what. Did really that ever doing. anything like that even ever happen? King is at sec.gov. <laughs> it's on our website, totalrealestatefund.com. Click financial reports. You can leave all our financials and SEBC report. But don't you understand why? You, you explained it. It's spiritual warfare. Yeah. It, it's pretty much, Fine, it's going to happen. Anytime you see anything rise up and it's successful. They call it Jesus a scam and he was healing people, bro. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, like, who am I? Who am I? That's right. That's And that's where you get your inner strength from. Yeah, they call MLK a communist. They said Malcolm was a sellout. Like, I mean, listen, I just, I'm, in, I'm in good company. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.